evening, and welcome to Inside the 25th District. I'm Senator Anthony Bucco, and tonight, for your viewing pleasure, we have to my right Jim Hill, who is president of the New Jersey Licensed Beverage Association. Jim, welcome to the show. Thank you, Senator, for having us. And to my uh, left is Mo Sitar, who is the CEO of Sin3 Transfer, uh, Transport and founder of uh, SRU, Safe Rides Unlimited. Unlimited. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why don't one of you tell me what is Safe Rides Unlimited? Safe Rides Unlimited is a nonprofit organization. Basically, our purpose is to create options for the general public to help them basically get away from drinking and driving. We're trying to promote the message of safety, responsibility, and we're going to create options. The biggest problem right now, as far as drinking and driving is concerned, is the lack of options people have when they go to a bar. And our organization strictly focuses on creating more options for people when they go out to a bar or a club so they don't have to drink and drive. Okay. Suppose they drive to the club or mm -hmm. wherever they, the, the bar and they're drinking. Um, they don't want to drive home. What do they do? They call our toll-free number. We'll, pick, we'll send a car out. It'll pick them up. It'll bring them to their house. What's your toll-free number? for? We'll put it's it up on the screen. 888 Eight seven three seven nine six three, which is also eight 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 use sin three. Okay, so then they call you. You'll send a car to pick them up. Yes. And take them directly home. Yes. Well, the premise of the program is we want to pick them up from their house, bring them to the bar, and then back home. Uh -huh, so okay. there's no reason for them to drive at all, and they can enjoy themselves at the bar. They can have a good time and they don't have uh, any worries of how they're going to get home, who's going to be driving, who's going to be the designated driver, and such. Are you getting calls for this then from people? Oh, yes. We, we started uh, in April, and we've already moved over 1,200, 1,300 people. Fantastic. How's the word getting out about this? Bar owners, we involve bars in our efforts. That's been a major problem in the past. Uh, people have been alienating bars and looking at them in a negative way. We're taking a different approach. Bar owners are more than willing to help us. They want to save their customers from drinking and driving. And we want to present them with options so they can promote it to their customers. And, and it also helps with the liability, Jim, with the Beverage Association. I guess that, that's how you got involved in this? Yeah, and uh, when they started with Point 08, the uh, profits for all the taverns went down because people are so afraid to get a DUI today. And uh, so we had heard about the Safe Rides Unlimited through the college level. They were picking kids up at the dorms, bringing them out to a nightclub, and then bringing them home. So Mo and I got together and we said, how can we co incorporate this into our tavern business so that we can get business for our taverns and, uh, and we can all have a good time with people. We wouldn't be afraid to come out and afraid to go home. And also, they wouldn't have to drive impaired. Now, there's a lot of people, they come out, there's four guys come out, one guy's your designated driver. On a business end, that means I'm losing 25% of my sale. So with this one, four people can get picked up at their house bought out to us, and then bought home, still drinking in a responsible manner because it's our job to be responsible servers. So we can do that, and yet they can still go to and from without worrying about getting in an accident or getting a DUI. Because today, a DUI for an individual is, it's actually can ruin their whole life. You get a DUI today, it can cost you anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000. It could cost you your job, it could cost you your wife, it could cost you your house. It costs a lot of things in your life. Not only that, if I lose one customer to DUI, I lose three customers because his two friends aren't coming out to watch a ball game and enjoy themselves. They're not coming out to dinner now, not coming out for a sandwich. So we try to come up with a method, and luckily enough, we were able to get with Mo's team and our team and put it together that we can do something that's good for the community and also good for our business. Okay.